On December 11, 2025, a major breakthrough in Philippine defense technology was unveiled in Camp O'Donnell, Tarlac. The Department of Science and Technology and the Department of National Defense officially presented Project COBRA, a controller-operated battery armament that is 100% locally developed by Filipinos. This system is about to change how the Philippine Army fights, protects, and operates on the battlefield. Today, we break down how Project COBRA works, why it matters, and what it means for the future of Filipino-made defense systems. On December 11, 2025, officials, engineers, and soldiers gathered at Camp O'Donnell for the official turnover of Project COBRA. After two full years of research, design, and testing, the Philippines now has a homegrown remote weapon system developed completely by Filipino scientists and engineers under the DOST. The system was mounted on a Philippine Army armored personnel carrier, showing the world that the Philippines is now capable of producing sophisticated automated weapon systems, something we used to only import from abroad. This milestone brings the AFP one step closer to its long-term self-reliant defense posture. Project COBRA stands for Controller Operated Battery Armament. But what does it actually do? This system is basically a Filipino-made remote weapon station that integrates electro-optics, target-locking capability, a ballistic computer, and a remote-controlled 50 caliber heavy machine gun. The highlight? It can identify enemy targets up to 3 kilometers away, even in challenging battlefield environments. Instead of a soldier manually operating the 50 cal on top of an APC exposed to bullets, shrapnel, or enemy fire, Project Cobra lets the gunner sit safely inside the vehicle. Using just one joystick, the operator can aim, track, and fire the weapon with pinpoint accuracy. This drastically increases both survivability and combat effectiveness. So how does Cobra operate? Inside the armored personnel carrier is a compact control module. With a joystick and a digital display, the operator can zoom in on distant targets, lock on to moving targets, adjust fire using ballistic data, and engage enemies from a protected position. The electro-optical suite gives clear daytime and nighttime vision, while the ballistic computer automatically calculates the most accurate firing solution based on distance, angle, and movement. All of this, achieved by Filipino engineers, proves that the Philippines can now compete in technologies normally dominated by foreign defense companies. As of today, only one prototype of Project Cobra exists, but that won't be the case for long. The Philippine Army has already expressed plans to eventually equip all armored personnel carriers with Cobra, starting with an initial target of 20 units for mass production. To achieve this, the DOST is currently in coordination with five Filipino manufacturers who are interested in reproducing the system. This ensures that the technology stays local and that Filipino workers, engineers, and companies benefit from the program. If successful, COBRA will be the first of many fully Filipino-made systems mass-produced for the AFP. Project COBRA is a big win for the Philippines' Self-Reliant Defense Posture SRDP. With advanced research from DOST and strong support from the DND, COBRA could pave the way for more local projects, such as remote weapon stations for naval vessels, drone-mounted weapons, smart surveillance systems, and fire control systems for armored vehicles. This is only the beginning. Project COBRA shows that the Philippines isn't just buying equipment, we're building our own. And with more Filipino-made systems coming soon, the future of the AFP looks stronger than ever. 
If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more updates on the AFP modernization program. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.